Okay, so now we have discussed the principles regarding the uh, components of a force. Let's try an example. So, okay, let, let's say I have, let's see, I have a u-axis and a v-axis like this, and my force is, let's say this is 100 Newton force, okay, so 100 Newtons. This is my u-axis, and this is the v-axis. Uh, for, for this one, let's say that my 100 Newton force is mm, 20 degrees from u and about 80 degrees from v. So, let's see, let's say that this is 80 degrees, this angle here. So, it's 20 and 80 degrees. So, my my axes are not perpendicular. 20 plus 8 is 100. And my, the task is to find the components of, of this 100 Newton force, uh, the component in the U and the V direction. Okay? So, first step, uh, let's... Let's, let's create the parallelogram. So I have here a parallelogram. Okay. And this one will represent F sub V and the other one will represent F sub U. And because this is 80 degrees, this should also be 80 degrees. And if this is F sub U, then surely this length will also be F sub U. So again, let me, uh, let me redraw that triangle. I redraw it, we have here F sub, we have F, F sub V and F sub U. This is 20 degrees. We have here 80 degrees and because it's a triangle, this angle is 180 degrees minus 20 plus 80, which is equal to 80 degrees. So this one should also be 80 degrees. Now, using the law of sines, okay, we have, F over sine of 80 degrees, okay, F over the sine of this angle opposite F must be equal to F sub U. So we have here F sub U below. F sub U over the sine of the angle opposite F sub U, which is 80 degrees also. And because of this, since F is 100 newtons, uh, this one is 100 newtons, solving for F sub U, we get F sub U is also 100 newtons. Okay? So we have F sub U. Now let us solve for uh, F sub V. F sub V, uh, we can solve it again using the law of sines. We have F over the angle opposite F, which is 80 degrees, is equal to F sub V over the angle opposite F sub V is 20 degrees. So we have here sine of 20 degrees. And solving for F sub V, remember F is 100 Newton. Solving for F sub V, we get... We get, let's see, it's 34. Solving for F sub B, we get 34.73 newtons. So these are the answers for this example. The components of the 100 newton forces in the U direction, 100 newtons. And in the V direction, it's 34.73 newtons.